Hi everyone, uh, Trent Peppicelli again. Welcome back to my fad printing blog here. We're going to talk about printing around the circumference uh, of a bottle um, or any sort of cylindrical object. Um, and uh, you guys really like to print on round stuff, coffee cups, um, shaker bottles, uh, water bottles, strange medical devices that I don't want to know where they go. So, um, and pad printing has some limitations on this in a way that, for instance, that uh, uh, screen printing, rotary screen printing does not. Uh, standard pad printing um, is going to have a, allows you to print on irregular shaped objects and print around a curve, but there are limitations on that. Uh, and there are some really good rules of thumb. So when you call me up and say, well, I've got a, I've got a bottle, I want to... Uh, print an image that is not, say, 75 millimeters or 70 millimeters, but 130 millimeters. I'm going to get a big machine. I'm going to get a 130 millimeter seal cut machine. So my expectation is, is that I'm going to be able to print 130 millimeters around the bottle. And that expectation is going to, um, is not going to come to pass. Uh, there are issues with um, how far you can go without distortion. And I'm going to show you how to do that so you can safely plan jobs and decide what job is right for pad printing and what job might be right for rotary screen printing or rotary hot stamping or, or some other method. Uh, and there's a very, just very simple math, very simple way to do it. I know it's a math filled day. The previous one was, uh, we did some math too, but this one again is simple, simple geometry. In this instance, I've got a bottle that is 93 millimeters in diameter. Um, and I want to find out the circumference of it. So, the circumference is obviously pi, 3.14 times the diameter, 93, which is going to give me a total circumference of 292 millimeters. Now I'm going to tell you that you can print not in millimeters, but degrees of arc uh, around this. A safe, a nice safe number for pad printing is 75 degrees of a true cylindrical object. If it tapers, you've got to take the smaller end of the taper. But on a normal cylindrical object like the SIG bottle, you're going to want to say, okay, 75 degrees of the circumference is going to work. So what you're going to do is take your total, your total circumference, which in this case is 292 millimeters, divide it by 360 degrees. That'll tell you how much a degree is. And then you can multiply it by 75, and you come up with a width, a reasonable print image of 60.8 millimeters. Um, that's on one end. It's 90 you know, if you do it 90 degrees of the bottle, which doesn't look like much when you're looking at it, but when you print it, it really starts to be a problem. You start to see stretching on the outside edges, slippage. And on a bottle, a lot of the time, if, it's, if you can't um, uh, put a plug in it to hold it, you may crush it as well. Uh, so you've got a 130 millimeter machine, and you needed that 130 millimeter machine because you needed the force to get the compression to go around even with the 70 millimeter image. You're not going to be able to use 130 millimeters of image to wrap the bottle. Um, so a lot of the time we're going to have a discussion. You're going to say, how big can my image be, Trent? And I'm going to tell you it's, it's 75 degrees of arc is safe. And other people will tell you other things. And it, and it just, it's been my experience in the field that anything beyond that in a production environment becomes very, very difficult to manage. Um, unless you're doing the same thing over and over and over again. You can maybe cheat it around. You can do a wrap if you don't care about the way it, um, if the, you don't care about the distortion. There are some clever applications where if you look at uh, wooden shoe heels on uh, women's shoes that the wrap goes around and it distorts, but it's supposed to look like wood grain, so it's, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, and, you know, I'm going to say 75 degrees of arc, but if you want to print up and down, let's say like this one, well, yeah, I can use all of my 130 millimeter cup to do this, but I'm not going around it. I'm going up and down, so I'm essentially printing a flat object. So you could use a huge cup to get this, a 190 millimeter cup, let's say, and you could get the entire length of, of the, the piece if you've got enough force, and I could probably have wrapped 75 degrees here with a big enough machine with enough force, but again, you're, you're going to a big machine with a lot of force to get, the, to get the compression, and you're also, no matter what, no matter how big the machine is, unless you go to extreme lengths, you're limited by your wrap. So, all the folks that call up, they got they want to buy a machine because they're they're doing some contract work and they want to do some coffee cups for local people, things like that. You don't want to go through this thing where you're using machines with uh, adjustable air bladders and the pads and all sorts of things to get that done. Now, how do you do it? Here's a here's a, a, a medical piece 
that um, they needed to go all the way around on this. You can see they went all the way around like that. We actually broke this up. So um, we printed all of this. Then we printed in the middle across and we printed here. There's no way on this piece that we would have been able to compress this and not get extreme distortion. In fact, if you if you could see it, and you can see it straight on. Let's try to get it to look correct. You've got um, you're actually a little bit past 180 degrees there, which is just not feasible. There are some exceptions if you're going on to um, a small catheter, a small diameter catheter, a lot of the time you can wrap 180 degrees without thinking about it. But even then, if you're not careful, you're going to get a, a smiling or a frowning of the image as the pad compresses and tries to get around it. And you have to fix it a certain way to hold it proud um, so that you can get that wrap and not get ink down onto your fixture and plate. Uh, so when you're thinking about this, when you're thinking about something and you know that you want to do a, a larger image or you want to go around, you're probably going to want to think about rotary screen printing. Uh, if you're trying to, you could get a bunch of bottles rotary screen printed in, in a general way and then come back and do logos for people on the outside, uh, and that's not a bad idea. But keep in mind that really what you want to do is keep within 75 degrees of the circumference um, and certainly not more than 90. Anything anything over 75 really needs to be tested and you really want to think about it in detail before you commit to a customer if that's what you're going to do. So that's a little more math lesson for today. Uh, have a great weekend. It's Friday here and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.